What's good in the whole YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai 71 here bringing you guys another video. Today I'm bringing you guys a video on Hashiro Sent the Real Soldier, and this will be on episode 22. The episode is called The Life of the Dead, and the episode overall was really good. It gave us more background and information on Seto, the new character that was introduced, uh, as far as who he is and what his purpose is. Um, it also explains to us why the characters are coming back to life now, and also uh, gave us um, our first sight at um, the combined form of Shine Raptor and Shadow Raptor with Kish, with uh, Tiramigo, which was very cool to see this episode. Uh, overall, this episode was really good. I'm looking forward to seeing future episodes a lot, and the show is doing really well, so let me get started. Um, the episode pretty much begins with us seeing that it continues where the previous episode ended, where Seto was introduced, and basically what we learn is, is that um, the reason why these characters are coming back is because a Minosaur has created it. It wasn't because of the um, Redroidans themselves. Um, a Minosaur was created that actually has the ability to bring back um, the dead while also getting rid of those that are alive in exchange. And so that's why the Minosaur's ability is called Switch. Like, like the word that it says, you know how each of them has a word or two words that they say all the time? The word is switch, so it makes sense because it's switching the life for the dead, and um, that's what it does. And the Minosaur is actually called a necro the Necromancer Minosaur, which if you don't know what a me Necromancer is, it's related to life and death and all that kind of stuff. So it is a very fitting name for the Minosaur. Um, the Minosaur does try to actually take the real soldiers' lives, um, but they do manage to resist. The Minosaur is an, has an interesting design as well. But um, what we do end up seeing is is that um, the real soldiers have to combat it. Um, and what we also learn is um, where the Minosaur came from. Because again, Minosaurs obviously come from a person's feelings or something else that, that caused a, a problem for them in life at some point. Um, and in this case, what we ended up seeing was is that um, we, you know, there's a character that particularly is noteworthy for causing this problem. Um, we also end up seeing that Yui is cooking with her mother, and she's happy to be with her mother, who she hasn't seen in a long time, likely since she was a child. Uh, however, we also have this moment where Seto is talking to them, and he gives them some background on, you know, how he lives between um, the darkness and the light, and how he's using Yui's father as a body, uh, and he used to be part of the real soul tribe um so we know that kind of information we don't know a whole lot else about him as a character but we do know that he is residing in yui's father's body and we do even see in the preview that he is going to continue to use that body again uh, and we also saw him in like the first episode as well being used so this is not the only time that we've seen him he's likely going to be using this body quite a lot throughout the show we don't know how long he's gonna be around the show it might be throughout the rest of the show but we'll have to wait and see um, anyway, what we do end up seeing is, is that Ko is brought into the Necromancer's place and he's being he ends up being attacked. And at one point, he, things aren't looking good, but Shine Raptor actually um, saves him. And this allows him to escape the Necromancer's place. And he and uh, Ko gains the Shine Raptor's uh, Shining Soul so that he could use it because Shine Raptor actually trusts him. Uh, well, um, yeah, right, trust him. And what happens is, is that that's a good thing because that will help them in their battle. Um, what does end up happening is, is that we end up learning from um, Master Pink that the reason that uh, why she came back and what's the whole story there because Asuna asked her and she often tries to make excuses but Asuna realizes that these excuses are done because she's trying to hide important information from her because a lot of the things that she's hiding are things that are sad or depressing or things that um may scare her or make her feel uncomfortable so she's trying to do that to make her to make th things seem better than they are um very much so a situation that I'm sure is very you know a very relatable situation with parental figures in some cases it's not the best situation obviously but um we end up learning that the minister came from master pink and the reason why was because of certain feelings she had and um her her want was to destroy the minister itself um but 
Asuna wanted to prove to her master that she could do it and she could handle it and that, you know, you chose me because you believed in me and all that. And, um, and I'll be, I'll be the real soldier that you want me to be. And so she, she tries to be confident in her abilities. Um, at the same time, what we do end up seeing is that the Minotaur does attack again. He tries to take more souls. And, um, at the same time, um, the real soldiers transform. We end up seeing that Ko is brought into the Necromancer's place, but this time Ko uses Shine Raptor, Shadow Raptor, and Tiramigo to combine them together to use uh, Kashirio Cosmo Raptor, which is the uh, which is the combination of the two uh, Shine Raptor and Shadow Raptor combined together, and then you combine it with um, with Tiramigo. Um, so, because again, the, the Minotaurs are coming, uh, the, those two Dionites come from cosmic energy, so it makes a lot of sense that their combined form would, would be called the, co um, the Cosmoraptor. So we end up seeing that combination used with Tiramigo, and they do, and what happens is, is that the, is that Ko manages to defeat and, and in battle the Minotaur, um, and now they have access to that, um, form, which is very cool to see. Um, as far as other things go, we also see that Asuna tries to prove her strength even more, and what she does is that she actually uses her master's sword in battle, and what happens is, is that she defeats, um, Tank Joe, who's brought back, and what happens is, is that she uses the power of the other real soldiers, uh, in battle against Tank Joe to defeat him, and they managed to do it pretty easily, and he's defeated. And this time when he's defeated, he's defeated because the Necromancer is the only reason why he's been alive this whole entire time. So now he is officially defeated, unless another Minotaur is brought back that brings him back. But I don't think that's going to happen necessarily, although we'll see. They may create some story that will lead to him be being brought back temporarily. It's hard to say for sure right now. Um, what else can I say? Uh, after all this, people are, people of the dead are being brought back to uh, the land of the dead, and people who were alive are being brought back to life. Um, we end up seeing that each of those that had died are now permanently dead, like Tank Joe dies, so things are sad for Kiron, but Wiseau tries to comfort him, and at the same time we see Yui's mother who disappears, and Yui knows that she disappears even though she's not looking at her, and she cries a little bit just because, you know, she she didn't get to have her when she was a kid, really, so, so I mean, she's grown up without a mother pretty much for most of her life, and that's been a hard thing, um, and then we also see that Master Pink talks to Asuna, basically, basically saying that you were my worst student, and the only re and the reason why I chose you as the real soldier, though, was because you had a very strong, a, a very strong heart, and you always had a smile on your face, no matter how difficult things got. You never quit. You were always willing to do everything you can, and just smile and and be brave. And so literally she was this brave spirit that basically encouraged her to accept her as a, as a person, which is a very interesting thing to say the least. And um, yeah, that happens um, from here. What we do end up seeing is is that, um, you know, Ko, Asuna, and Melt uh, joke around. And otherwise we end up seeing back at the base that Ko, Asuna, Melt, Yui and Yui's father end up having dinner, which is food made by the combined efforts of Yui and her mother, who is now officially dead, and um, they enjoy it, but that's about it. Um, the preview for episode 23 looks pretty good. It's going to be introducing the Wish Soul, and we do see that Seto is returning next episode. Now, as far as what the Wish Soul will actually do in the episode, we do not know. Likely, it will... Uh, it, it will probably have a limited effect. Like in other words, it will probably be like, you can only use this soul once or twice or something like that. I would imagine, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is something they, they use regularly. I would imagine not just because of the fact that it's that if they had the ability to just keep on wishing, it would become an overpowered uh, soul to you. So most likely this is probably a, a more temporary soul that they can use. However, it's unclear as to what the purpose of it is if it's just to be used for wishing or not. Uh, and what will it be used for wishing? We do not know. 
Uh, I am also curious to see how Seto will function in the show because for all we know, he could become a number of different things. He could lead to another uh, Dionite being introduced when he goes. It could be, it could lead to him becoming a, um, a real soldier. There's a number of different possibilities for what they may do. Um, one thought that I also had was maybe he will uh, take over the body of Guy Sorg when he's defeated and then he will fight for justice alongside the real soldiers as a real soldier. That's a thought that I actually thought could be pretty cool. I don't know if that's what's going to happen, but I think that that's a possibility that something to consider. Um, but otherwise, not too much else to say right now. Um, next month, we have two new, we have another pair of mechas, uh, Dynamites coming, which uh, should be interesting. And uh, we have Dynamites coming in October and also November. So, uh, well, October for sure. I think November is not a new Dynamite, but I, it, it's a new power up form. And it's the like final form for. Um, for a co. So otherwise, that's about it for me, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. So until then, guys, I'm Crazy Samurai 71, and goodbye, guys.